forgive me while I take a mint. I just finished my coffee. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Patricia. That over there oh, is Bogey. <laughs> Hold on. Bogey. Say hello. Aw, you're a cute boy. We live full time in a 2009 road truck class B RV van. This is going to interfere with the whole talking thing. Okay. Um, hi. <laughs> I'm trying to make some lemons out of lemonade today. I don't often get served lemons, so when I do, it throws me for a loop. And as I'm trying to work my way through this morning, and I had my big baby crying fit, you know, before 7 a.m., I'm better now. I called a friend, left an audio. Because sometimes, you know, doesn't it make you feel better to just, you're not looking for like, um, some sort of resolve when you call somebody you're looking for like just to get it out and once you get it out you feel better so I thought if I could start my day by getting it out I would feel better and I think for the most part it did work now, I know this person, you know, is not a morning person, and I started the audio at, you know, don't listen to this right now. I just need to vent. I'm fine. Get to me when you get to me. <laughs> but if I didn't have that conversation out loud about what the issue was, I would be like holding it in and it would be slowly ruining my day. I'm happy I have this person that I can just call and just like, <laughs> like I said, I need, I might go all over the place with this, but hopefully just, just follow the train and just might go in different directions. Yesterday I made a video and I was saying how, how things have been, I don't want to say easy, but smooth. Not easy, but smooth. I have a, mostly a smooth van life since I've moved in. Well, since I left Florida. And so I wonder, should I have not said that? You know, and then I wonder this issue that I haven't told you about yet. Like, I wonder what the lesson is in these things that come up in our lives. Is there a lesson or is it just a fluke? Most times I could see the lesson in certain things, but right now I'm not sure if it's one, I was too happy about my smooth van life or that maybe, okay, let me just tell you what happened. I actually have missed you guys. I haven't made a video in two weeks as of like until yesterday the video you saw on Sunday was done two Saturdays ago or two weeks two weekends ago I went away for a little weekend and I, I did not make a video and then I came back for work or to work and I don't really do videos during my work days sometimes but it's rare so I was all excited you know for my work week to end this week and for me to start back on making videos I miss editing I miss talking to you guys and so I had started actually one video on my workday Tuesday like an intro to something kind of like a reveal of sorts and um, then yesterday I had made my other video which was kind of a planned video that I don't normally do like I had notes and stuff and something I wanted to share with you but I had the notes because I didn't want to be all over the place like I sometimes am 
So I made that video and I made it like outside and I went to my favorite lake. Hold please. Stop whining. Only when I talk to other only when I talk to other people. I'm talking to you guys. If I talk on the phone, if I talk to like a person in 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 you know, um what's that word? in person <laughs> when I talk to a person in person this he I don't even know if you could hear that but he's whining to the highest pitch that either you hear it or only a mama can hear okay <laughs> so I made this video yesterday and I had notes and I wanted to talk about this thing and I did it at my favorite lake. And I did it outside. I took a lot of beautiful B-roll. It was a beautiful day yesterday. We walked along the lake. We went, we did little trails. It was a gorgeous day. It was going to be the best video ever. Okay, maybe not the best video ever. But it was going to be a beautiful video. And, you know, I've done a lot of videos from this place right here. Like, and... This is mostly where I'm comfortable. This is mostly where I can like just chat. And you know, I wanted to do something a little bit more outdoorsy. And I think because one of my other videos is doing really well and it was the setting was outside and and I thought, well, you know, let's do another outside one and I'd share this particular whatever I was sharing. And so I have these two videos. Well, one of them, the one that I started at work on Tuesday still needed to some extra stuff to it because that's the reveal one. And then this subject was already done. This is what I'm going to work on today. I was going to edit and I was going to get a video up. And I know I told you guys that I most likely would be just uploading on Sunday because of said lack of footage and videos to create and you guys all seem good with that and there's going to be a live uh, on Saturday night so so I want to invite you guys to the live that's definitely happening happening on Saturday March 23rd I hope that's the correct days but it should be um so last night right before I went to bed I was laying in bed I was watching shorts I like all the dancey ones you know especially the afro dance they're my favorites okay anyhow so I guess I kind of fell asleep and my phone was like you know here and I woke up and I, it wasn't even long it was just like a nod off and I was like all right let me shut my phone off and my phone froze And so I tried getting out of YouTube and it was frozen there. So I tried the whole restart thing. And what happened was I ended up with a black screen and a big old apple on the front, which is never a good thing. So I spent from right before midnight till 4 a.m trying to restore my phone so I didn't lose my footage because I knew for a fact it didn't back up at that point into the cloud and I tried over and over again to restore it and you know I had my phone and I had my laptop and I had my iPad so on the iPad I'm reading how to fix this problem and so but it needs to be hooked up to my laptop so brought my laptop out had to like charge it up a bit because I don't really use my laptop all that much. And then once it had a little bit of a charge, I started to go through the motions of restoring my phone or at this point, reviving my phone. And so I went through those, um, he's being cute. I don't know if you guys can see him. Oh, can you see him? Okay, so I went through the motions of reviving the phone, and that's not the correct word, because restore is something different. 
you know, restoring to factory settings. That's the last thing you want to do. <laughs> so I'm going to use the word revive because I can't remember the actual word. And I did it like three different times where it would go through the motions of uh, updating and but never actually seeing into my phone. You could see like the Apple and the update happening and you could see what's happening on my on my laptop. But then at some point it'll say update failed. So I did this three times and then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to accept the fact that I'm gonna lose my footage and that's okay. And I have to accept the fact that I threw out all the little notes to make this video. And that I spent a few hours of my day yesterday getting the B-roll and creating this video. And I wanted to accept all that before I went ahead and restored to factory settings. There's also an ongoing, and I'll just say it, text conversation in my phone that is not with another Apple user. <laughs> I don't know why, but you know, it's an Android. And in the past, I know when you've restored your phone to factory settings, you lose, you usually lose those Android conversations. There's this one particular that I didn't want to lose. I want, I want, I want that conversation in my phone always. And so I had to be okay with like, all right, I might lose that conversation as well. And all the photos and all the exchanges and all the audios and all the little texts, I may lose it. And so as I'm doing this at like three o'clock in the morning, I'm like, all right, let's restore this phone, restore it to factory settings. So we did. And the good news is I did not lose the conversation on text with the other Android user, but I did lose my footage. And at this point it's 4 a.m. I, ha I usually get up like by 6.30 to get out of bed by seven to start getting ready to um, make those moves to leave where I park because I don't wanna be in the way when this business opens. Um, and this business allows me to park there at night if you're new to the channel. So not only did I have to get up at 6.30 and I just had gone to bed after 4 a.m. But when I did the footage yesterday, I have this mint in my mouth again. I snuck it in there when you weren't Wait. watching. Okay, so as I did this B-roll footage yesterday, Bogey was like eating the sand and licking stuff and I wasn't paying much attention to him, which I usually am better about that. But every time I caught him licking the sand, I'm like, stop that, stop that, stop that. But he must have done that so much <laughs> that he ends up having to go to the bathroom at like right at 6 a.m. And I, I'm not ready to get up yet, but I had to get up, take him out. He wasn't sick. He just had to go bathrooms, both bathrooms, which normally doesn't happen until I pull out of my spot. And we just go like a few feet down the road and I park at the church and there's a big field there and he does his bathrooms. I crawled back into bed, but obviously I wasn't going back to sleep because also my batteries were low and I had to start the van to charge up my house batteries because I was charging my iPad, my laptop, my phone all at once. I didn't have a full charge on my batteries. So I noticed that I was to the point where I needed to start the van in order to start charging the house batteries. But before getting out of bed, I made that phone call. I made, well, I made an audio, not a phone call. I made an audio and um, 
because I wanted to make sure I started my day right. And I know for a fact that if I talk about it, it won't be so bad. So that's what I did. I made that audio. I hit send. Made sure the other person knew this was not like the end of the world, that I was fine, that I just needed to get it out of my system. And here we are. So I came down to the park, a different park from yesterday, and made some coffee and watched some Casey Neistat. If you're familiar, he's a, one of the first vlogger YouTubers. And I haven't been watching him for very long, but I do like his advice on making videos, uh, which he has here and there. And sometimes it's just a, you know, a few moments in his life. And I just, I just, I love how he creates his videos. But, lemons out of lemonade. Because I took the time to accept the fact that I was losing my footage, that I was possibly gonna lose that very, like that phone conversation that meant something to me. Um, I took little precautions before I made moves to correct the issue to tell myself it's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. It could be so much worse. And I had my little crying session. I got it out. And I do. I do feel better. I wanted to get on here and I wanted to talk about how things don't always have to be the end of the world. <laughs> We get so emotional over things that go wrong that it really does feel for a little bit like the end of the world because we get so caught up in our emotions. And I'm so proud of me today that I took the steps to, to nurture and or just be really careful with myself so I didn't spiral into a place where the whole day was ruined. It was really important for me today, or for these four days that I have off, I wanted to dedicate to YouTube, making videos, editing, doing backend stuff, creating the memberships. Um, I have a list of things I wanna do and I tried to tackle them last week and that didn't really because I was away and that didn't really happen I did a little bit here and there but I really really wanted to focus and so going back to what I said in the beginning I don't know like I said everything's usually smooth for me I don't come across these little bumps in the road and smooth for me now van life not back then before before van life I think I, I I said in the video that I don't have anymore that I feel like I went through so much stuff that the universe was being easy on me and giving me a smooth road for van life and again this is not the end of the world I lost footage it's okay I'll recreate it but the point was that was it just a random fluke was it just a uh, because I said yesterday things have been very smooth for me did the universe was like boop <laughs> boop <laughs> because it, it wasn't a major thing but it definitely was a little disappointing and I'm wondering if they're like let's see how she handles this <laughs> because in the past I would have just had a meltdown and it would have been yeah the end of the world for like a few hours or the day or it just the day would have got worse or I wonder if did you not want me to make that video like you made the like all the footage is gone was I not supposed to make it was it a bad video I mean I didn't put it together yet as of yet and obviously I won't be able to, but what is the message? Random fluke? 
uh, things aren't always going to be smooth. Boop. How are you going to handle it? Or you hated the video and you effed up my phone. Um, I also had to like, you know, calm myself down and say, at least, you know, the phone's fine. I don't have to get a new one because that was also a big worry when I was trying to reset and when I had to restore it and all that. You know, budget is limited over here. That is the moral of the story today. There is no moral. I have no idea. But lemons out of lemonade. I handled myself and I... I I nurtured myself in a way that the day was not, I refused for it to be a bad day. No bad day. Maybe a bad moment, but not a bad day. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me, you guys. See, this is very helpful. Also makes me feel better. So, I want to invite you guys to the Saturday Night Live 8 p.m. Um, that's to the March 23rd, I believe. Yes, March 23rd, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to do a live. And hopefully we'll have memberships ready soon. I don't even know what to offer on that. I was just going to offer early viewing for now until I figure that all that out. Because I don't have a huge following yet, I've been listening to like how to grow your YouTube videos and you don't want to like put a lot of effort into something that only a few people may jump on. So as the community grows, I will make the memberships with more to offer. But I think right now I'm just going to do an early viewing. But other than that, thanks for listening. Thanks for stopping by. Bogey always in rare form. Now he's being quiet. Bogey. Hey. <laughs> he's all squinty. So before we like end things here, I had a random question. When the time changes, does the sun move? I mean, I guess I could Google this, but the sun used to come in like right in this direction. Like this is a spot I always park in when I come to this park. And when the sun rises, it was, it was like straight on in my eyeballs. Now it's more in my peripheral and it's not as annoying. So I can make a video because <laughs> when it came straight on, it just really like it threw off the lighting a lot. And um, yeah, so do you know? When the, the time changes, does the, the sun shift like 20 feet? I'm sure it's more than 20 feet, but <laughs> the way it looks, maybe about 50 feet. I feel stupid. <laughs> but hey, if you know the answer, let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Me and Bogey appreciate you guys so much. We have a, a big amount of new subscribers and I wanted to welcome you. Thank you for subscribing and I know a lot of you are watching my older videos so thank you for that. I'll be uploading again on Sunday. Hopefully I could recreate one of those videos or just make a whole new one, whatever. Oh, I think I was going to do a QA and a too. So I know I have a good amount of questions to, this will be my first Q&A video. So that might be the video you see on Sunday. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on Sunday on the next one. Bye.